Okay, so uh, today is December 15th. Uh, I originally started recording this video this morning uh, on my way to a gastroenterologist, but the audio was terrible. Uh, I couldn't get rid of the background noise, so I've got to redo it all again. So I have a Christmas tree out here. So anyway, let me get on with it. I went to gastroenterologist because he's the one that recommended me for the surgery. And I'm telling him that I'm still having heartburn. He seems to think that what I'm having is not actually heartburn. So uh, I've got to go in for another test. He seems to think it's that H. pylori uh, bacteria infection or viral infection in my stomach. He says that has the same symptoms as heartburn, but it's much worse, which I think the heartburn is worse. Uh, because he said that surgery should have, you know, cleared that up. And if I still, I'm still having problems, he thinks that's what it is. He's not sure, not 100% sure. So now I have to go through this whole long process, two weeks of no famotidine, no Tums, no antacid, no nothing, before I can have a test to have that done. So I was thinking about that when I got home. I'm like, why didn't they test me for this before I had surgery? Now, I still needed the surgery, obviously, because that acid reflux was going up into my throat, and I haven't had that since I've had the surgery. But uh, why wasn't that one of the things they tested me for? So if you think about having this surgery and you do have a lot of acid reflux, see about getting that uh, H. pylori uh, test first to see if that's the cause of what you do. So let me take my glass off here a minute. So I'll show you some of the things that two weeks before... Uh, and this is a stool test I have to take. This, there's a couple different tests. There's one that's a breath thing, which I don't think is as accurate. Then there's the stool test, and it says stop taking the following two weeks before you complete your kit. All proton pump inhibitors, uh, Dexalent, Nexium, Pro, uh, Prevacid, Protonix. Uh, I don't take a proton pump inhibitor anyway because I have problems. I have kidney disease, and uh, that's not good for your kidneys, a proton pump. Uh, I take uh, an H2 blocker, which is famotidine, or, you know, the street, not the street name, but the pharmacy name, Pepsid. It's the same thing. Uh, so I can't take Tagamet, Pepsid, Tums Dual Action, Acid, at, Acid or, Zan, or Xanax. I think Xanax they took off the market because it was causing cancer. Uh, I'm going to have to call them tomorrow to see if... Now, they talk about Tums Dual Action. I don't take Tums Dual Action. I take a CVS brand of Tums. So I'm going to call them to see if I can still take that because without famotidine and Tums, it's going to be a miserable two weeks because I pretty much have a heartburn every day. Uh, very rarely do I go a whole day without having at least a Tums, and I take famotidine 40 milligrams twice a day. So I don't know. We'll have to see. And then you can't take anything like uh, Kaopec, take Maalox, pepto I don't take any of that anyway. But on the another one, it tells me that you can't take laxative, antacids, or any diarrheal medication for at least one week before, before the test. So I'm going to have to call them because these, these are kind of contradicting. One says two weeks. The other one says one week. So I'll call them tomorrow. But on the good side, uh, I did have a meeting with uh, my surgeon uh, last time. And I am off all kinds of activity restrictions, off all kinds of food restrictions. Uh, so I can eat whatever I want. Uh, I had actually my first meatball sub in two months yesterday. It was all right. I mean, I, it wasn't that great. For some reason, the, the pizza place that I get them from, they changed the sauce or something over the last year. So it wasn't uh, all that great. I dropped my glasses here, so... All right, so I was hoping that this, I was only going to have one more uh, video on this hyano hernia thing. Uh, I'm not scheduled to see my surgeon again. Uh, I'm all done, I think, seeing her. I do have uh, an appointment on, uh, let me see, the 27th of December, two days after Christmas, for a CAT scan for my cancer follow-up, my lung cancer follow-up. This will be the third one in a series of four that I have to have. And the physician's assistant who I see for that uh, CAT scan is the same physician's assistant that works for the surgeon that just did my handle hernia surgery. So she's going to, you know, have me meet her with her with the final one, which will be the final 
uh, meaning for the high anal hernia and Nissan fundoplication surgery. So that should be the last time I talk about that. Uh, before I have that meeting, I think it's before, was it going to be two weeks? It's going to be around that same time as when I'll have to take the test for this H. pyori, and they'll let me know if that's the problem. If I do have it, there's medication I can take for that. Um, again, it's something that I think I've probably had for years and don't know. It, it can cause ulcers in your stomach, and it can lead in some rare cases to stomach cancer, but I just had an endoscope. Uh, you know, a month ago before I had this surgery and nothing, he didn't see anything. And that's another thing that they can look at for this uh, pyoral, H. pyoral bacteria is an endoscope. So I'm not sure why I need to do this test that he didn't see anything on the endoscope, um, you know, when I had that done. So I don't know. Things are still uh, up in the air with this whole thing. It's just, I mean, it, the, you know, the upside is I don't want, I no longer have that acid going up into my throat, into my sinuses at night. Um, I used to have to sleep on my left side, use the wedge pillow, or you had to elevate the, the head of the bed a little bit. I no longer have to do any of that. Uh, I'm sleeping on my stomach, on my back, on my right side, left side. Never, haven't had an issue with that acid reflux going up into my sinuses and everything like that. So that part of the surgery worked. Um, but if I have this H. pyori bacteria, that was not going to be corrected by the surgery. It was only the acid reflux. So that's an indication there. Now, I don't know if my surgeon knew that I hadn't had that test yet. And I would have thought they would have given me that test. You know, they want to, I would think they want to rule out everything they can before you go into surgery. So, but the surgery was done. It's, it's over with. I did have a, a small high in a hernia. Uh, somebody asked me in the comments about what stage that hernia was. I don't think they have stages of that. At least they never told me any specific stage. Uh, they just said it was a small hyena hernia. It did show up on my last CAT scan, and it did, of course, show up on the endoscope. But the doctors never told me anything about a stage. Uh, usually stages are like cancer thing related or, or something like that. Um, it was a small one, so... I don't know. I don't. I don't know that there are stages. It, and there's more. Maybe you're thinking of a, a another type of hernia. Uh, again, I don't know. Nobody ever mentioned any kind of stage to me about it. So, all right. So that's going to wrap it up for this quick video. I just thought I'd give you an update on this. Uh, good news is, is the bike over here, the Springer, uh, going to start working on that after Christmas. Probably right after the first of the year. We'll start doing some videos on that, replacing the uh, controls on it. Uh, gonna pull the tank and everything off and uh, get the uh, rockers rocker covers replaced because the some of the chrome is flaking off of that I decided I'm not gonna buy a lift table. I really don't need it And that's just fifteen hundred dollars that I don't need to spend and it's in the way, you know, too uh, For what I'm doing I can use the stand that I have which will be fine. I'm not doing a full-blown restoration on this bike I've already adjusted the front end um, but I'm going to do it again once I have the, the controls off because I'm switching out the, the hand controls from the stock black ones to chrome. So when I take those off, I'll do the swing test again on the front end to make sure, you know, that's all set. And, uh, you know, do, I'll do service on that front end, take the wheel off and everything like that. So it, I'm figuring it's probably going to take, uh, by the time I get the parts in, it's probably going to take maybe a month. Maybe I'll be done by February or March. As long as I'm done by the spring, that's all I care about. I don't care if it if I do it in a week or not, but there'll be some videos on that. So, all right, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching. Leave me some comments below. Are you thinking about having this surgery done? If you are, just, you know, shoot me any questions that you might have, uh, and I'll try to answer them the best I can. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.